What is going on, everybody? My name is John Hammond, and welcome back to some more HSCTF. We're still in the miscellaneous category, so some simple stuff here. This next challenge is locked up for 145 points. It says, my friend gave me a zip file with the flag in it, but the zip file is encrypted. Can you help me open the file? So we have this thing we could download here. I'm not able to W get anymore from CTFD website, so I don't know if I'm just being stupid, which is likely the case. But if anyone has actually seen that, you know what? Here, let me demo that. Let me show you. <laughs> if I try and copy a link location, you know, let's do a little wget and then pass in the link here and then crank that out, uh, arrow 404 not found. And, okay, I'll go ahead and remove some of, like, the unnecessary jargon here because it doesn't need all of those extra variables, it just needs to get the file name. However, that gives me a forbidden. Uh, I've tried to give uh, extra user agent and that still didn't work. I tried to pretend to be Firefox but that didn't help. Uh, Regardless, sorry, that's just me whining. We have a file, lock.zip, in here, and if we were to open it up, or try and unzip it, poke at it, whatever, we can explore and see that all of these files in here that have random names are supposedly password protected, however, they're all zero bytes long. You, you see that lock, that lock means, okay, this is password protected, but they're all zero bytes. Um... I scrolled through this and it was like, okay, there's got to be something in here that's not zero bytes long, and that was not the case. Literally every single one of them <laughs> uh, was empty. So I thought, well, the flag has to be here somewhere, right? So thankfully this is in alphabetical order. Um, we can kind of change that if we'd like it to with the column up there. But I thought, um, okay, I'll just look for H in the H section. And I scrolled down a little bit and I saw, wow, zips aren't that secure. And that was the flag. So that's it. That's It's that simple. That's all that it was. Um, what I ended up doing, or at least another option, is just actually running strings on this. And you can do that exact same thing, right? Grep for HSCTF, and that cranks it out. So since strings was all we needed to do, that means that theoretically Katana could find this. So if I actually, in my case, went to GitHub Katana, uh, went ahead and activated the virtual environment, I can remove the results directory, and then we'll run Katana. Uh, we'll put it in auto mode, because it'll just run all the units that it knows, track down whatever is applicable, and it's that lock.zip file in my current directory. We could exclude crypto if we wanted to, uh, might make things faster, but in our case, let's just apply the flag format and see if we can track it down if we need to exclude crypto. Uh, okay, there, it just spits it out. Found it in strings in <laughs> 0.1 second. So uh, that's that. It Literally, the strings command, that's that's the whole point of Katana for us, and to do those things so we wouldn't have to otherwise. And it will be available soon. <laughs> I hope I'm not teasing by sprinkling a little bit more uh, as, as we go through. So, uh, hey, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Not a hard challenge, not a difficult or long video, but I hope these small bites would be good, especially when you get things that would trick, trip, trip you up, right? Uh, you might not know, hey, let's just kind of examine this zip file, and maybe strings wouldn't be what you normally would run. You try and crack the password. You look for those files, except they're all zero bytes, so a little bit odd. If you did like the video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Love to see you guys in the Discord server. There's a link in the description. It's an awesome community. Love to see you on PayPal. Love to see you on Patreon. Appreciate any of your support. So, uh, thank you guys so much. Bye.